welcome to another speed painting video. Today I'm going to be painting so many animals. It's amazing. So this is the sketch. You'll be able to see it in more detail once I start actually painting it. I'm going to do one animal at a time. I'm going to be talking through it a little bit as well and hopefully this will be a good way for you to relax. A sort of relaxing thing to just chill with and get absorbed into. So the first thing I'm going to do is rub out where it says RSPCA <laughs> because I just wrote RSPCA because this is that's where I got all of these images from. These are all of the animals. I literally just went through the RSPCA website and looked at all of the animal categories, um, all of the animals that were up for adoption and I chose one animal from each category basically <laughs> to draw and there are a lot. I mean as you can see there are even horses and pigs at the moment and these are just ones in not exactly in my area but like close to the area where I live. So the point that I wanted to make was that all of these animals are available for adoption now and looking for new homes now even though of course during this pandemic um, then they have put a halt to a lot of things like new jobs, volunteering positions, yes I did look, <laughs> and um, adoption as well unfortunately but of course once this is all over the animals are still going to be there and looking for new homes. I'm going to, well I did <laughs> rub out where it says RSPCA because I recognised that actually of course there are loads of organisations doing the same kind of good work. It's not just the RSPCA, obviously, um, they're just very well known, but of course there are many, many others. Um, I wouldn't recommend any particular one out of all of them. Um, of course, just if you are going to them, make sure they are reputable. Sometimes things do go wrong, uh, sometimes people decide to just sort of become their own animal sanctuary, take on too many animals and the conditions end up really bad. So just, of course, if you're going to adopt an animal, then just make sure that it's come from somewhere suitable, somewhere with good conditions, that you're not being conned. But anyway, the point I was trying to make was these animals are all available for adoption. They are absolutely gorgeous and amazing and cute. And if you are looking to get an animal to be your companion in life, I guess, then I just wanted to make the point that you don't need to buy an animal in order to do that. There are so many animals of all different kinds waiting to find a new forever home. And if you're looking for any specific type or breed, for example, a particular breed of dog, I'm talking about dogs a lot because I would like to adopt a dog someday and probably some guinea pigs as well because they are amazing. If you're looking for a particular breed of dog, for example, then actually most dogs in shelters waiting for adoption are of specific breeds, not mongrels, because usually they have been bought by someone at some point who in the end could not look after them appropriately or they were taken from some sort of puppy mill. There are lots of circumstances like that. Most dogs aren't just picked up off the street, just mongrels picked up off the street, that's not really how it usually works. So. Yeah, even if you're looking for some sort of pedigree because I don't know what re you, what reasons you have for that, I don't really understand this whole pedigree thing. Usually they have lots of health problems relating to interbreeding. But if you are looking for some sort of pedigree, then you, can, you still don't need to buy a puppy. Or in terms of other animals, you don't need to buy one of them. 
there are all sorts available. You might have to travel a bit, but you know, at the end of the day, surely that's better to give an animal who needs a home a home and a loving family rather than just perpetuating the cycle and encouraging breeding of all these animals, which is just needless, it's not necessary. I kind of feel the same way about children in a way, which is a very controversial point, but I'm going to say it anyway, that I am very in support, very much in support of adoption of children as well, because there are so many of them already, and so many who have come from broken homes, many who don't have parents or don't have parents who can support them, have been given up for adoption. Yeah, we don't really need to create more children, we don't really need to create more uh, dogs and cats or, I don't know, hamsters, <laughs> because there are so many. I don't feel comfortable putting my money towards this needless um, breeding, needless cycle, I guess, where animals are just being bred and bred and more and more of them coming into existence, more and more of them to the extent where not all of them can be supported and you end up with a lot in shelters or a lot who don't even make it to shelters, they're just abandoned. These animals deserve a loving home as much as any other animal who is bought for money and for profit. This idea of profit is quite important as well because whenever profit is put into the equation, humans tend to um, sort of forget about the fact that these animals are living and sentient beings. It's the same with the farming industry, that I'm not exactly blaming humans because the temptation is just naturally there to view these living creatures as commodities and to make sure that you can get as much profit as possible out of them, in which case their welfare and their needs do become secondary, which is unfortunate. And I'm not saying that all people who breed animals are like that, but the risk is always there when you bring profit into the equation. So yes, like I said, I hope to adopt a dog in the future and possibly some guinea pigs one day when I have a house with a garden. I would also need to make sure that I am in a position to be able to look after these animals because that is one of the reasons why so many are abandoned or signed over to organisations like the RSPCA because people have gone into it without realising how much care and cost goes into looking after an animal. If you're looking to buy or adopt any of these animals or any other animal then I would just say do your research, do so much research, do research until information is coming out of your ears because you really need to know exactly what it entails, how much work is going to go into it. These are living creatures and they need attention, they need food, shelter, all the things that we need really. <laughs> and that is a lot of work and can be a lot of money as well. And even, you know, I watched a YouTube video about oh, chinchilla care, I think it was. I don't even intend to get chinchillas. I'm just really interested in animals and knowing <laughs> everything about them. Um, so I watched it and the amount of money <laughs> involved in just having chinchillas which is a really small animal, was immense. I would not be able to afford it. So again, when I do decide to adopt animals, uh, apart from my snail, I already do have one animal, my giant African land snail, who is amazing. Maybe I'll show you later. Some bonus snail footage. <laughs> 
um, when I do decide to adopt more animals, uh, which require more care and money, then I will make sure that I am in a suitable financial position to do that and also just in terms of how much time and energy I have to look after the animals. It is upsetting when you think actually I can't, like I physically can't have the animal that I want to have <laughs> but at the end of the day it's not really about you. These are living sentient creatures and they deserve to be looked after properly and if you can't do that then unfortunately it's just not the right thing to do to bring an animal into your home if it's going to end up suffering or you're going to end up suffering because you just can't deal with it. Well I've run out of things to say on the subject but I think I've made my point quite clear. So for the rest of this video I'm just going to shut up and let you watch the rest of the painting. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and as promised, some bonus snail footage.